Hello everyone, my name is Palak Prajapat. I am from class 7th and today I am going to explain you about the circulatory system. The circulatory system basically comprises of blood vessels and the heart. I will explain you about them one by one. Let's begin with the blood vessels. As we have already studied about the blood, what is blood composition of blood etc. So the blood flows in our blood vessels. So, there are mainly two types of blood vessels, arteries and the veins. Arteries carry blood from our heart to whole body and the veins carry blood from our body to heart. Arteries carry pure blood or we can say oxygen rich blood. But veins carry CO2 rich blood or we can say carbon dioxide rich blood. In arteries blood flows the high pressure but in veins blood flows with a low pressure and the arteries are deep seated under our skin and the veins are superficial and one more thing I like about to tell you about the blood vessels are capillaries. Capillaries are another types of blood vessel which are very thin and which connects the link between the arteries and the veins and there is an exceptional case also in the arteries and veins as I told you that arteries carry the pure blood but the pulmonary artery only carries the impure blood this is an exceptional case and same as in the veins pulmonary vein is an exceptional case so let's move on to the main part of the circulatory system so the it is heart the double layered membrane of heart is called the pericardium and the muscles present in the heart are called cardiac muscles and the heart is enclosed by the rib cage for the protection purpose and the only you know the heart is only of our Fifth size and it is situated in our left side in our chest cavity. And there are four chambers in heart. Right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium and the left ventricle. And there is a wall which separate these both parts is known as septum. And you know our heart beats 72 times per minute. So this was a small information about the heart. Let's move on to the working of heart. As I already told you, the, you that pulmonary artery is an exceptional case which carries the impure blood. So the pulmonary artery brings the CO2 rich blood to our heart in the right side of the heart to the right atrium. And the heart contracts and releases then the blood is given to the right ventricle and again the heart contracts and releases and through the help of the blood vessels this heart is given to the lungs for the purification of, of blood as we all know lungs has the oxygen so lungs take the carbon dioxide and give the blood oxygen and this oxygen rich blood is again comes back to the heart in the left atrium then Again the heart contracts and releases and this blood goes to the left ventricle of the heart. And then again heart contracts and releases. Then this blood is given to the blood vessels named aorta. Aorta is the biggest artery of our body. This transports the blood from left ventricle to whole parts of our body. So this was my whole circulatory system. Hope you understand. Thank you.